Okay, so you know what time it is. It's time for some more Legend of Vox Machina. This is Season 2, Episode 9, A Test of Pride. And I wonder if that's going to have... I wonder if that involves uh, Grog here uh, going to uh, uh, confront his uncle uh, after what he said, that his uncle is the one who killed him. So very interesting. Very curious to see what that is. And I did look it up, and I was right. It was Henry Winkler. Uh, I was like, that voice, I can't, it's killing me. Killing me that I couldn't freaking figure it out. And... Yeah, I was right about it was Henry Winkler. Also, I did not know that Vex and Vex and Vax's father was voiced by Troy Baker. I don't know if someone told me that. Maybe someone did. I don't recall. I don't remember. But still, awesome. Love Troy Baker. But yeah, let's give it a watch. That's Grog's uncle. There's gauntlets, though. Whew. That's messed up. Oh, no. Are they invaders? Oh, marauders. Oh! Oh! There is... Wow, take no prisoners, huh? It was it was kind of implied that... I'm guessing that was his uncle talking to, to the dragon, right? That one, that one point. Take what you want. Where's this Grog? Okay, never mind. This is a flashback. Oh, this place looks great. I played dozens of gigs in Western. Lousy tippers, but they really appreciate the classics. Oh, my big closer was always when the bald man cried. Scanlan, focus. Focus, Scanlan, please. Showed me the city overrun by half giants like Grog. Well, normal Grog. Oh God, don't make him feel bad. Super beefy dude wore these stone. He's already feeling inferior. The vestiges. Looks like those guys moved on. We should get back to <laughs> Oh, he does you not know, want to do this. Wondering where we are. Hey, these people could use our help. <laughs> Oof. I swear, I gave all I had. There's nothing left. If we ain't got nothing for the old oh, no. that makes you worthless, down it. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> then get out of my Better side. being worthless than and dead. Are they really gonna let him go? I knew it. I was gonna say they ain't letting him go. That's fucked up. Nope. Up there with the hood. They ain't easy. Ooh. I've always wondered about Grog's past. Who he was before joining Vox Machina. Me and Kevdak, we got bad blood. Oh boy. He's got an actual vestige. Yeah, but I didn't know that's what they were. <laughs> he just called them his Titanstone Knuckles. He's always wearing them. Titanstone Knuckles. Crazy strong. Oh boy, that's what you need. Exactly. How many herd members are we talking here? Did heard someone say hundreds before? Oh. Um. Great. Still a lot. Okay. So <laughs> that's right. You all told me Grog's IQ isn't very high. Through a bunch of regular size Grogs. <sighs> Easy. Simple. No, I'm not sure I want to hurt seeing me like this. Right? Mm. I, mean, I like how the vestiges are tied ah, right. to each member, you. right? Would you be impressed if I single-handedly infiltrated Western and retrieved said vestige? He's capable. Well, it would be the bravest thing I've ever seen you do. Uh. Then it shall be done. <laughs> if Scanlan the Revolutionary... He's capable. Remember in season one? I you'll try to love again. I will do my best. <laughs> All these two. Nevosh Nevon Clue. I like how he brought his hat back. Oh wow. That is amazing. That is so cool. It even has the, the little the, the beret. You don't have to tell me anything. Oh, is he gonna to, open up? But it might make you feel better. It's good to open up. When I was with the herd, Lore! Did Horrible things, based off what we saw. I'm so used to seeing him with a beard. Jeez, man. Wow. It's a killing machine. Oh! Whoa! No way! Pop, pop! Oh! Holy! There's a much more 
personal link to these two than than realized. That dragon really cockwits this place. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Loot's run dry. It'll be our aids if we don't find more. Or I'll yeah. Run. I didn't sign up to take orders from a bloody dragon. So they're just acting we'll as survival we'll now. <sighs> doing these horrible things. I say, someone needs to stand up to my father and take this herd. Oh, that... That one is his son. Ah, oh, Scanlan. That's a good thing you can fit through that. They can't. Just a rat. Is someone in there? Oh. Hello. Occupado? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Are you one of them? I like her hair. I'm about four feet too short to be one of them. Who are you people? Fair. Just unlucky. Farmers. Oh! Farmers. When the dragon attacked, we all hunkered down and waited for it to pass. Wouldn't you know it? The day after he flies away, those fucking marauders show up. How'd you wind up in this hell? Lovely well, accent. I'm sort of an adventurer, rebel leader, musician. <laughs> Not the time. Philosopher named Scanlan. As in Scanlan Shorthalt. Oh, we have heard of him. But when you're great, 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 great. Just two greats. Yeah, I was going to say, that's Grandma a little much. Looked at me. I, I don't know. What do we have here? Oh, no. Find yourself a pet. No. Go away. Piss off. It's not a fighter. It's just an oh, his voice. Fighter. Don't let my father catch you getting soft with these bugs. Grog's a big softy. killing the geysers. Says he's doing them a favor. No, bad. Stop him, Grog. Up. Oh. Wow. Hey, come on. This is where Grog's life changes. Wow, he just literally... He, he put his life on the line for him. That's amazing. I hope I can repay your kindness someday. Mm. Here we go. Oh, he's a beefy boy. You would betray my son. Bring me that gnome's head. Oh, boy. Take yours. Run. Protect. Wow, Grog. What a good man. Oh shit. I should have known you weren't strong enough to raid with us. Ooh, who's voicing Grog's uncle? Like your father before you. Oh, did you kill him? Oof. You got a strike on him. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. Oh, the way they, they cut the music out. You really hear those punches hitting, you know, hitting him in the skull, right? Painted the ground red. Strong, strong jaw. You are hereby banished from the herd of storms. Damn, how did he not die? Leave him for the scavengers. Wow. What a scene. Like I said, when that music cut out, man, he's just beating on them. You hear every... You hear every oh, bit of impact. And he saved him. Wow. Try to heal him. Did Pike? Is that... Never lie to him. Please. Wow. What you did was very brave. Can't dwell on the past. This just sheds a whole new light on these two. I love it. You're different. You're my best buddies. Oh. Yeah, I am. Ah. Best friendship on TV. Oh, that's bad. I mean, obviously it's bad because it, it's him. Following us? Wait. Where the fuck is Scanlan? Yeah. Heard of me? Indeed, I have. Uh -oh. Actually, Keely here is part of my band. Keely. Dr. Drenzel's traveling troop. It's a band. At your service. Just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, you just happened to be here performing? Uh, we've heard of you. Hold up. I'm famous? Yeah. <laughs> no one wants your damn autograph. Oh. 
These people have no food and are running out of water. He was ready. The herd has been going door to door demanding allegiance and gold. And the dragon? Is working with them. Yeah. You need to get us out of here. Well, they're working for him. What? Oh, oh, hold up. I I'm just scouting this place. One thing I learned in this life. No one comes back to save you. Hmm. So oh, they're breaking my heart back there. No, little what one. Prepared to do? Oh boy, this is not gonna go well because they didn't get a lot of treasure. It seemed like you're gonna be pissed. Oh, Ripley's been flying around with them. So your time is due. There's the sword. Yeah, that thing. Hello, hello. Is that enough? Do these offerings keep getting smaller? Oh boy. I swear I know that voice. Reminds me. See? <laughs> Scale it's me. <laughs> you waste my time with scraps when you wear what I covered. Yeah. This city yields less each day. He does want the gold. There's gauntlets. Look at those wings. Even if it means expanding our efforts. I am displeased. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh, dude. Holy shit. Oh. In three days time, God, the dragons on this show are fantastic. Leave no stone unturned, or a dragon will be the least of your worries. Yeah, he's going to take you out. He's want, he wants those gauntlets. We reduce the servants. Hold your tongue. Oh boy. This alliance affords us a city to rule. This is not survival. Oh, here we, we go. We be hunting these dragons. Instead, your weakness has us groveling like... Oh. Oh boy. You're whining. We gonna go... We fighting? Here we go. Shit. <laughs> oh my god. Those, those gloves are nuts. I rule this herd, and we rule Western. Now go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The violence on this show sometimes really. Come on, we'll sneak in. How? You're almost not exactly the quietest. You'll spot me a mile away. I like this music playing right now. It's beautiful. Stole from Kevdak. <laughs> Had to run her down myself. Ew, I don't like that image. I know it's not real. I don't like seeing that though. I'm Kevdak's kid. It's a big boy. <laughs> he looks. I can't get used to Grog looking like this. It's so interesting. Nice <laughs> Hey, what's with calling me a turd? Oh, sorry. That was like you know, acting. Acting. A little improv. Find Scanlan before I pass out from hanging upside down. Right? Oh! Shit, that's on me. Got pig blood in my eye. <laughs> Listen, I'll go alone and bring back a rescue party. Oh, boy. Hey, hey. Don't worry about me, little lady. I'm not worried about you, you cuck. From <laughs> what I've heard, wow. the figures you'd run. Damn. Scanlan has a reputation, huh? Everyone can come, but it'll be dangerous. Gonna need a little something for Save the little- save the cats. You're flipped. Hell yeah! Yo! Hell yes, yeah, Scanlan! Look at that thing! I swear, if something happens to, to the, to the mother and the and the little one, I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> Scanlan has got really cool abilities, doesn't he? Getting warmed up. Oh boy! Oh, thank goodness! He's such a big softy. Oh, <laughs> he's getting straight back. Aw. Happy to see me, huh? I mean, no. Oh, these two. Oh boy. Right, this murderous half giant is actually on our side. Suppose you couldn't have found a beefier one. Oh, buddy, it's okay. Mind her, buddy. Freaked out that your uncle's herd has teamed up with a dragon. Say nope. What? Say what? Get the fuck out of here. Follow Grog, okay? Once he gets you through the gates, make for the tree. At least he can walk. Come on. Oh, those eyes are killing me. We'll 
go first. Grog, you can take up the rear. Oh, poor Grog. They still don't I'm trust him. What? What do you mean? We'll catch up. I promise. Grog? I mean, I should have expected I this, honestly. He has You're to confront his uncle. Me. Afraid of my kind. Unless I take down Kevdak. Yeah. Shit. Kevdak? Like that? Your belt looks like it's wearing you. Remember what Groon said to you. This is suicide. Is that what you want? You said I'm... Remember that lesson. But if I leave, I'm as weak as he always said I was. It's standing up for the little folk. That's what makes me different from them. Hell yeah, Grog. But what if I need you? Oh. The herd of storms lives by the cold. Oh boy. Ooh. Oh, look at that lighting. If that power is challenged, the challenge must be answered. He's going to challenge him, huh? Even in his state. He tells me there are some among you would return to the wilds. Wow. His own son. Damn. If anyone here Jeez, man. This dude's jacked. Better than I. Step forward. Oh, here we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, beautiful. Remember me. Yo. No! I didn't realize how much time was left. There's... Damn it! <laughs> oh, man. What a way to end that one. Oh, oh I cannot wait for episode 10. Cannot wait. Uh, oh, I, I loved exploring Grog's past and how he met. Uh, Pike's great great grandfather and how he met Pike and the circumstances behind that but especially Pike learning what happened that he was there to kill all of them and he was this close to killing killing him and just something just by seeing him just like affected him there and oh he risked everything to protect him and save him which was an amazing thing like really for for as you know, dumb Grog is uh, he's got a, nah, he's got a big heart. He knows, he knows, you know, he's got the right priorities, and it it was it, it was a, I don't know, it was a really great scene when he was protecting him, and he got that one shot on his uncle. But damn, when his uncle hit him, and the music cut. And you're just hearing every crunch and pound and impact and punch. Oh, my God. The show's really good at doing that when it cuts the music out. They did that in the when Vex got you know, hit with that trap. But, oh, man, that ending. I, I didn't realize the whole episode was over at that point. Usually, when that happens, you know, you know you're into something when you don't even realize the runtime, right? You don't feel the runtime. Oh, I cannot wait for that next one. Oh, I hope Grog comes out on top. I hope he really does. Uh, we see the dragon again. God, God, I gotta really learn the dragon's names, particularly this one, because this season's really focusing in on him. I should really know his name by now. And you have all told me. Uh, but, oh, when he melted that dude's face, <laughs> and then Ripley's with him, and, like, what is Ripley? Mm, really want to know. Really curious of what her plan is here. What is she really trying to do? Uh, but yeah, yeah. Grog's gonna get those gauntlets most likely. I would, I would think. And this is gonna be, like I said, test of pride. Our episode was called "Test of Pride." Like this is gonna be his moment now, right? You know, everything. You know, his confrontation with Groon, like just everything else. You know, dealing with the blade, like it's all coming to head. This is going to be his big moment. I feel like, and I'm, I'm very excited. I hope that's the case. Uh, Grog needs a big win right now. <laughs> he really does. Uh, so yeah, love that stuff with Grog and Pike. Uh, Scanlan, you know, has a bit of reputation. Uh, 
and it, it, that that seemed to really bother him. So this was a nice little moment for Scanlan as well to kind of, you know, be that hero. Because every time Scanlan seems to have this big heroic moment in the show, there's none of the group ever gets to witness it. Right? Remember when he took on that whole building of soldiers and whatnot in season one, uh, dealing with the Sphinx. You know, now they keep. So it's nice to him to showcase to others like what he's capable of, and it's a lot. He's quite powerful, and I love that. But yeah, uh, we're heading into the final three, I believe, right? I think it's only twelve episodes. Oh, that sucks. So, ooh, so I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, since season three was confirmed, I'm, I'm going to assume that obviously we're not, we're not ending the Conclave arc in this season. Uh, I don't know how long. I don't know if like the Chroma Conclave is the main story, so obviously there's gonna be more to that. It seems like we're just we're gonna be addressing the one dragon in this one, and then we'll have season three. So obviously Thordek is probably gonna still survive through this. I'm gonna assume he is. So yeah, folks, wonderful as always. Love this show. It's an absolute ten out of ten. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying the show. I hope you've been enjoying the reactions. Uh, if it's your first time here, uh, consider subscribing and don't forget to like the video. And again, comments, comments, comments. I love again. Uh, I love reading all the fans' comments. Uh, you all know, most of you all know this way better than I do. So I love uh, you all kind of like filling in some of the lore for me, some of the background stuff that doesn't get addressed in the show. I love that. So keep doing it. Just again, be wary of spoiling things though. But most, but all of you have been really great about this. I really do appreciate you all uh, not spoiling me. So thank you for that. But yeah, folks, have a great one and I'll see you for episode 10 of Legend of Vox Mafia. Yeah.